Economics is the study of people and the decisions that they make. And so when we're talking about these people, there are some assumptions that we make about them. We assume that they're going to be rational individuals and behave in certain ways. And those assumptions that we make, we call axioms or the axioms of choice. So the first one of these assumptions is called completeness. This is also sometimes called order. And basically this assumption just says that rational people are able to make decisions between options. So for example, if I gave a person the option between a choice A or a choice B, they can tell me whether they would prefer to have A or if they would prefer to have B or they could tell me that the two are the same, that they're indifferent between the two, there's no real difference. But what they can't say is, I don't know, I'm not sure. In order to satisfy the axiom of completeness, they have to be able to make a choice between one of these three options, saying that one bundle is better than the other, it's worse, or they're the same. The next axiom is called transitivity. So while completeness requires that people have to have preferences between bundles, transitivity requires that those preferences have to be consistent. So what this means is that, let's say that we have three possible bundles, A, B, and C. And you can think of these as apples, bananas, or carrots if you like. But, for example, let's say we have a person and they chose that they like A better than B. And they chose that they like B better than C. Now we're asking them to choose between the options of A and C. By completeness, they must have some preference between these two. And transitivity says that since A is better than B, and B is better than C, then it must be true for this person that A is also better than C. Because if this isn't the case, then we'll see that we have A being preferred to B, which is preferred to C, and then if C is preferred to A, we go back to A again, and we'll see a loop. And nothing is really the best choice the preferences don't make sense. And so this, this case would violate transitivity. In order for transitivity to hold, then any case where you're choosing between three or more options, and you have an example like A is better than B and B is better than C, then A must also be better than C. And that is the rule for transitivity. If both completeness and transitivity are true, then we say that this person is rational. And for all the people that we work with in this class or the agents that we talk about, we're always going to assume that they are rational agents. And anytime that we're doing that, when we use a utility function, so you might say u is equal to x, y, or any other function. Whenever we use a utility function, we're assuming that this is a rational agent, and so his preferences are both complete and transitive. Another thing that we assume in order to be able to use these utility functions is we assume continuity. Basically, we assume that preferences won't change dramatically between small changes in bundles. This assumption of continuity is important because it allows us to use continuous utility functions. So the main three assumptions that we make are continuity, and then the two that we made above, completeness and transitivity, which combine to suggest that the agent we're talking about is rational.